A lot of people love chillings because it brings back memories of home and country cooking and just that lifestyle that, you know, they were used to. Many of the people that made the chillings are no longer living and not here. I created a company just to bring back those memories of people that lost family members that they loved, that's, that, that used to make chitlins that's no longer here anymore. Hopefully my recipe, Alabama Red Sauce, Gourmet Chitlins, bring you happiness and fun to everybody across the globe. I'm Chef Ricardo, the year is 2023. Short period. I first started off the Gourmet Chitlin recipe long time ago. I was selling uh, Gourmet Chitlins in plates in San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas, my wife was in the Army at the time. I had just uh, enrolled in college. The reason why I created the recipe was to upscale all black American cuisine. I always wanted to franchise, and I was from Alabama. I was deep-rooted, um, you know, against anti-racism and things like that into my history. Being a culinary graduate, graduate I applied those skills to my um Get a cuisine. I was always a cook for over 20 years. I started out for Health South working for Richard Scrucci on 280 about 20, 22 years ago in um, 280, Alabama. We cooked for the president, Gladys Knight's big people, before he went to prison, federal prison, for extortion and a lot of other things. And they closed the building down. Around 2022, 20, you know what I mean? After you know uh, shipping all across the globe, I started noticing that people were duplicating my my recipe. One of my recipes that I never thought anybody would try, you know. Kind of, you know, I didn't get any accreditation, so it kind of hurt. So I created an Alabama red sauce to separate the stain and start stamping my name on everything. One thing I noticed about our history and our culture was that they hated to give accreditation to anybody that did well or did great. They only wanted to rob you and take it for themselves, starting from the elderly on down. So it just was a culture shock for me because I always respected my elders, but now I understand why society is so messed up now and the kids are killing each other and things where it's coming from is coming from, um, you know, the elderly and what they talk. You know what I mean? For real. It was it's linked in the bloodlines, man. I saw it in culinary arts. Robbery. Coming from it started with the elders. Uh recreating things. No accreditation. What's nobody young's all elderly's hating. Right now, if you look across the uh, internet, you'll see so many uh different copies. But since it's a franchise, I won't sell. The reason why I won't sell because you all need to taste the original flavor of Lob House. You all need to know Lob House and the history and why. Because it's a beautiful story and it's a beautiful thing of these black American chitlins. Upscale cuisine from a black American chef that graduated Central Texas College uh, from Alabama. I used to be a felon. I changed my life to start doing great things. True story. I cooked these chitlins off uh, daily, and it was so funny when I first started. Uh, the people would always say, he can't be cooking all those chitlins. They never gave me credit for anything. But now, and then they, um, it was, seemed like it was a crime to say gourmet chitlins, but now you'll see everybody, including the elderly, elderly people, trying to do it across the globe. I'm well, Chef Ricardo telling the story of how one man changed the world with chitlins and black. American cuisine. Keep store. Alabama Red South, I still chilling too. Y'all let me know if y'all see them, you'll know where it came from. I'm ready this time. I love over red sauce everywhere. We ain't even added it yet. Enjoy it, baby. Love house. True story. Chef Ricardo Adams. Freezer back, Chef Ricky. The People Shell from WLTZ back in the day, NBC 38, back in Columbus, Georgia. It's the guy. It's me, the People Shell, Chef Ricky.
holla at you guys. Stay shepherd the most. Stay shepherd. Enjoy the